<laughs> First day getting the boat out. We are going fishing. Gonna just hit Gull Lake, walleye, get some uh, pike. First day on the water. First day taking the boat out. I'm sure we're gonna forget something. We're gonna miss something. It's definitely gonna be an adventure. Can you see that? No. Wow. But I'm going fishing. And Wendy's coming with me, believe it or not. I think Gull Lake is her favorite lake. Anytime she comes, it's that. We're going back to Roche in June for 10 days again, followed up by a Father's Day fish out. So I'll give you guys more details on that as soon as I have them. <laughs> hey, hey. Just a few bugs here. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> this is uh, probably the worst I've ever seen the bugs. <sighs> Dock's not in yet, but when you're up on the dock, you can see a big ridge along here. They've dug out and sort of fixed everything here. You never used to be able to use the right side. You always had to launch over there. But we're gonna try it today. <laughs> okay, we're at Gull Lake. Just gonna start loading up the boat. <sighs> The bugs are bad. The bugs are bad. We are on right side of the boat launch, which most people try to avoid, but it's really clear they've uh, dug out all the sand. Really excited. Anyway, fish will pull. Oh, guys, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and uh, share it on Facebook. And again, if you got a cool place to go fishing, hit me up. We are gorilla style again today off the cell phone gull lake, me and Wendy. Let's go get some walleye. <sighs> <laughs> it's official, we're launched. I didn't bore you with all the extra footage of launching. We're gonna get out, we're gonna fish, we're gonna show you content with fishing. Today we're gonna try some cool stuff, so let's talk about that first. Let's get into that, okay? Okay, let's talk about what we're gonna use today. <laughs> this is gonna be exciting. So we're going for walleye. When I was down in the States, I picked up some of these bandito bugs by Guggen. So we're gonna stick these onto a jig head, tow them with the claws backwards, see if that works. On top of that, when we were down in the States, I picked up my favorite. I love these skirts, whatever I'm using. So we're gonna be using that. I'm gonna try a couple of these Yakima twitching bait. Big heavy jig, feather body. We're gonna try these today. But for now, oh, there's all my soft baits. But for now, what I really wanna try, I'm gonna get into my Brad's bait. Brad's super bait. So let's talk about this. Okay, so oh, today, I think we'll start with a smaller style. And all we're gonna do is a medium Brad's super bait. Cool thing about these that a lot of people don't know about. If you don't know about Brad's, check this out. It opens up, we got a little sponge in there. You could stick your uh, lunker lotion on there. Or, like I really like to do, grab a nice little stinky minnow. Rip his head off so his guts are nice and stinky. And I slap the minnow in my Brad Super Bait. Anybody familiar with uh, salmon fishing will know sort of what I'm doing here. This is a cut plug, so it, it just sort of rotates really nicely like an injured fish. And these Brads, some of them come with hooks, some without. But uh, we might have to run steel leaders. I'm willing to risk losing one to see if this concept works. So we'll troll that behind us off of this guy here. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is just a weight for trolling. Okay, so I'm gonna hook Brad on here. I'm gonna hook my rod in, my, my main line into here and the tail. And this will just sort of skim along the bottom, you know, not getting into the weeds, hopefully. I don't think there should be too many weeds today, but let's get at it. All right, so again, I bought these in America. Well, not that it's not any different in Canada, but you guys know me, it's catch and release. Um, again, I like to pinch the barbs. Pinch the hook, twist your pliers. That's a really, really effective way of getting rid of the barbs. Now, uh, there you go. You wanna put it in gear, steer a little to the left. We'll get this one rod started. Check out that booty. Booty, booty. In gear and to the left. Just, just for it, what's the depth? 9.5. All right, cool. And there you go, come back and grab the camera. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so that's a long leader, as you can see. And all we do, get right on the back here. The snap that comes on these, that's it. You guys see that? Can you see that bait? Look at all that skin. So we'll let her out and see if we catch a fish. Hey guys, well, while we were setting up Wendy, uh, the Brads did a job. Come on out here, Wendy. Let's see what we got. It's got kind of a head shake like a big pike. Oh, down there. Huh? There's a pike. Yeah. So. I don't think we'll bring them in the boat. So a lot of people will handle pike. I got these, these are bass lip grippers. Man, just makes your life easy when you gotta handle these dogs. <laughs> but doing that takes all the fight out of them. Really gives me a good opportunity to be able to get in there nicely. Get the hook out. See, with no barbs, no issue, right? That is literally fish with Paul B, baby. First fish of the season in the boat. Let's put the pike back. This is a nice opportunity to be able to really just get the fish going, let him go, right, come on buddy, rub his belly, there he goes, and that, well Mandy, you gotta learn this one, put your hand out in front of the camera, hand out in front of the camera, not like that, <laughs> like that, <laughs> okay, Brad's 
super bait. Typical walleye lip diver. Let's see which one goes off first. Something I don't know if you guys can see. I would say the bugs have never been this bad on Gold Lake before. <laughs> Okay, so trolling was, wasn't working. We're marking fish, but uh, we were in about 15 to 20 feet of water going over a mud flat. Kind of a great spot for pre-spawn. So we're gonna mix it up. Wind is gonna go traditional. So again, if you guys have watched my gullick videos, we got the hula skirt. You wanna come in a little closer, Wendy? Let's show them what we got here. So that's the hula skirt and a double tail Mr. Twister jig. Nice big eyeball on there. Wendy's gonna be putting that on. Should I say, I'll do that for Wendy. She's a girly girl with long nails and she can't do up the snaps. But I will not complain because those nails are good for itching your back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll be Wendy's setup. What I'm gonna use, so not sponsored, not being paid to do this. I bought these with my own money because I see all these Americans using them and I think, you know, that kind of looks like our double, double twister tail. It's the Bandito Bug by Guggen Bates. They had no Guggen rods. I was at Cabela's Estates, would have bought one. They had pumpkin. If I could have got a chartreuse yellow in this, just saying Guggen Bates, I think that would have been money up here. But let's have a look at how that is. I'm not running it just a Guggen, just a Guggen. That sounds interesting. <laughs> so what I've decided to do here, I'm running the Bandito Bug with a hula skirt. Again, a nice aggressive, heavy jig. And we're just going to be casting out. We're going to do a couple different methods. So you're going to cast and there's going to be a slow retrieve that slowly gets quicker, 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 and then let it drop again. So that creates kind of an arc. That's really uh, effective for walleye. The other one is just the old whip, you know, just whip it up and then reel it down. So you're just getting that jump. And a lot of times when your lure is on the way down, the walleye will actually bite it, but sit on it. They like to pin it to the ground. I don't know why, but sometimes aggressive motion is the way to go. Sometimes that slow arch and a fall is way to go. But let's try it out. Wendy's going to be doing the, the whipping and I'm going to be doing the slow arches. Let's see who catches what on what. <sighs> okay, we weren't videotaping, but my sounder said we should have been in 15 feet or 11 feet at the least. All of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. We're in a foot of water. So we managed to get ourselves out of there. All of you who saw my transom repair video, well, it, it held up and this is the I think fourth season we've been on this transom repair that all of you told me wouldn't work but either way you just got to uh I guess you can't just rely on your charts you know you would hope and think you could I mean you hope and you think you can uh rely on your charts but in this particular incident I don't know literally I was going into a spot that I got marked it's marked at uh, 15 feet at high lake low lake I got it marked at 11 we hit ground I just can't even explain it so we'll be deleting those marks off the uh, chart for now but we're gonna go across the lake uh we're not gonna be hauling any major ass today because there's a couple small chunks of the prop so we're gonna have some vibrations but damn it anyway i got her <laughs> well there we go lunch on the boat we're gonna make some raft you know we're just sitting here with some fish kind of minnows kind of on the bottom passive fishing i guess but more importantly food food all right, well, tried the Guggen bait with the skirt, tried the regular bait with the skirt. We ran aground hard. Uh, I guess we got a follow-up video on how to take chips out of a prop. <laughs> but right now, it's lunch time. So get back to you if a fish bites while we're having lunch. But other than that, probably gonna go to a nice slow troll in kind of a proven spot that we come to. So, ah, oh, but look at the lake. I mean, just beautiful, just beautiful. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll get back at you if there's a fish on. Here, I'm gonna get some cheese. Go put the cheese down. I gotta do everything here one handed, so okay. this will be interesting. Here, some cheese. Because Brody would say we don't have any green shit or red shit. If you guys don't know who Brody is, then you don't know why I'm making a wrap while I'm fishing. All right, what do you got there? Ooh, that sounds good. All right, yeah, after you. All right, beef time. Now, this is how to eat on a boat. Never mind packing those dumb little sandwiches. So, how's your fishing fish wrap? Amazing. Taco seasoning fish wraps. Well, that's that. It was a long day on the water. And uh, at the end of the day, the one pike when we started, we trolled the brads. We trolled the pumpkin lip diver, the silver lip diver, rattle shad. We cast the bandito bugs. We cast the Mr. Twisters. We cast them with or without hula skirts. We saw about 10 other boats on the water. Never saw a single fish come in. All day long, I think I marked like three, maybe fish. So I don't know where they go just after the ice is off, but it was the first day of fishing on the 
this lake and uh into a beautiful day had a wonderful meal out on the water uh got to try out the new storage pod so we're gonna be doing a lot of camping on the water there's sleeping bags in there chairs stoves uh just everything we need for chilling out on the water and uh that's it oh again you know hit it hit it hit it and also the subscribe button and if you haven't subscribed yet what you waiting for hit the button anyway one pike gull lake first day of the season even fish with paul b and guggen baits if you want to send me something by all means reach out to me fish god one one on instagram <laughs> see you guys on the next adventure <laughs> Ooh, almost forgot to oh. can you see that not sure if any bart uh, stop leak will work on that wow how in the heck